in a different country. We're very used to London Pride in the UK yeah. and this will just be a whole different experience altogether. And it, I think it means so much given what's just happened in Orlando as well. Exactly. So. Just the community coming together and all the love. <laughs> I'm volunteering to be the safety monitor and also for the uh, civic center too. The dike march. Probably more of a time of grieving, I would say. I'm not sure, maybe people will be thinking more deeply about um, how violence affects the community because it's more fresh on people's yeah. minds. I think it's going to be really different now. I think a lot of people are going to be afraid. I mean, they're going to, have, like, they're going to be very, very vigilant around the area because now it's going to happen in Orlando. That's sad, but I, I'm trying not to let, I'm, I'm not letting fear get in the way. I'm going to have to, you know, try to help as much I can for my brothers and sisters. Well, I hope it, I hope people are more safe, I guess, and they party cautious because I know it's a lot of drinking and going go on and whatnot. I think it's going to be a little bit somber, a little bit reflective, and a little bit of um, taking, yeah, 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 taking stock of how lucky we are, and just remembering that actually, though, there's still a long way to go. You know, yeah, in a lot, totally. of, in a lot of parts of the world, there's a long way to go still. It will Silver. be what it will be. Um, difficult for all of us. It's sobering. I think it's going to be. I think it's grounding and sobering. You know? And I think it's everybody will be respectful. You know? So that's about all we can do. I did not know no, that. I did not know that's that. That's horrible. No, I did not know that. I wasn't aware of that, no. Yep. I didn't know the exact number, but I knew that it was still possible. Yeah. You mean it's yeah. legal? It's, that, it's not against the law to be fired for your oh. sexual identity or your gender identity. Oh. Yeah, I heard about that in the, on the news, you know, but really that's not, that's kind of unfair because, you know, we're like everybody else. We're human like everybody else. We're here to do a job, you know, we're here to, we do a better, I mean, we do a good job what we're doing. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. No, I didn't know that. So that is, that's, just, that is yeah. I mean, my God, you know? In the land of the free, that's know, not happening. What is that about? Things need to change, don't they? And yeah. Pretty quick. Yeah. Because it should make a difference whether you're gay or straight. It shouldn't affect who you are at work or anywhere for that matter. Because it, uh, it stops any like biases from employers or anybody. Yeah. Because our identities are part of who we are, and if we can't be who we are, then we, what is life? <laughs> es importante um, estar afuera del closet en oh. su trabajo porque. Okay, because then you can feel more comfortable and just give the best you have instead of in trying to pretend all the time. I think if you are what you want to be, you are a better worker. It's important to be out at work because being authentic about who you are uh, will make people who are less tolerant become more open the more they see that you are not the devil, you're not an evil person, you're gay and hey, you're human. Wow, exactly. you know, that's, that's amazing. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I think it helps others to have the courage to be out and know that there are people who will support them. It gives you peace of mind and peace life is the good life. <laughs>